Watching the entire Wall Street vs. Reddit fiasco has been very entertaining to say the least. And honestly, I'm loving every second of it. I think it's great that, you know, the little guy here, David versus Goliath, we're actually seeing the little guy stand up against these fucking corrupt billionaires who have been getting richer and richer as this pandemic has gone on. You know, while many people out there are losing their jobs, struggling to pay for medical bills or put food on the table, these people at Wall Street are making mad bank. And now Reddit has banded together done essentially what these hedge funds have been doing for years and now they're being painted as the bad guys. We, we've seen numerous people attempt to slander them as alt-right, to call them Russian spies, really getting into absurd conspiracy theory type territory here. This is actually one of the few times in recent history I think that the right and the left, as divided as they are, were able to come together against a common enemy. These fucking corrupt billionaires. You can see how fucking worried they are about that. You can see that they are shaking in their boots. All of the disinformation that's being spread here. They're really trying to make it a political issue, even though... I, I think traditionally most liberals would be on the side of Reddit here. Uh, the idea of like a socialist siding with corporate billionaires is mind-boggling. <laughs> and I I'm saying all this from the point of view of an independent. I think it's great to actually like see this divide close a bit and for these jerk-offs in suits to finally get their comeuppance in a way. So I guess that brings us to one question. Why am I making this video? Well, the reason being is that I recently saw this Jimmy Kimmel segment where the dude is covering the Reddit situation, right? Reddit versus Wall Street. And you aren't gonna fucking believe what you hear in this clip. GameStop, if you don't know, it's a video game store, and like a lot of businesses, they've been struggling because of COVID, but also because most people buy games online now. And yet, despite a sharp decline in sales, over the past six months, their stock price has grown by 8,000%. Because a bunch of amateur investors, maybe even some Russian disruptors who are part of a Reddit community called Wall Street Bets. It's actually crazy to me that someone like Jimmy Kimmel can just call these Redditors Russian disruptors without any evidence whatsoever. You know, that's a pretty bold fucking claim. He's essentially doing whatever he can to make the poor look like the villains of this story. And I think he's mostly banking on the idea that his audience has zero clue how the internet works and will eat up whatever he says. You know, Jimmy Kimmel is out here losing his mind that the little guy finally managed to beat the Ritz at their own game, you know? And in all honesty, I'm happy for these guys. I mean, I'm a bit jealous I wasn't able to hop on that train and make Mad Bank myself, but, you know, reading most of these success stories, most of the people who were participating in this subreddit genuinely needed the money. And this whole situation has been life-changing for them. You know, just average working-class people who want to pay for college, or they have a sick relative that needs their medical bills paid, insurance, you know, generally noble causes. Meanwhile, you know, we have these hedge fund investors crying, in tears, sobbing, over not being able to afford another fucking yacht. The reason the market is doing what it's doing is people are sitting at home, getting the checks from the government, okay, and this fair share is a bullshit concept. It's just a way of attacking wealthy people. And, you know, I think it's inappropriate. We all got to work together and pull together. And keep in mind, these same people have been making so much money off of the pandemic that has taken such a huge toll on people across the world. But given the like to dislike ratio so far on Jimmy Kimmel's video, I'd say he's getting a lot of backlash over this and it's definitely well warranted.